All right, now we're doing 7Q Split the Build. This is by Otahor, and 87% of people like it. Uh, it's tricky keeping track of who is owed what when spending money in a group. We're going to write a function to balance the books. The function should take one parameter, an object with two or more name value pairs, which represent the members of the group and the amount each spent. Uh, the function should return an object with the same name, showing how much money the member should pay or receive. Uh, also, the value should be positive numbers if the person should receive money from the group and negative numbers if they owe money to the group. If the value is a decimal, we're going to round two decimal places. Uh, so here's the example. Three friends go out together. One spends 20, the, another spends 15, the other spends 10. The, the function should return an object showing that A should receive 5, B should re receive 0, and C should receive, uh, excuse me, C should pay five all right so uh yeah that's basically what we're going to do so right now we're going to declare some variables we're going to say uh let total equals zero and we're also going to let uh count equals zero all right so the total is going to be the total amount of uh, money and the count is going to be how many people are in the group now we're going to use a for in statement so uh, if you don't know about the for in statement, it iterates over all innumerable properties of an object. So we'll, we're going to use this to iterate uh, through this object uh, right like that. So we're going to say let uh, i of, excuse me, in x, all right? So now that's going to iterate through it. And we're going to say uh, count plus plus, because we're just adding up a uh, the people and we're also going to say uh, total plus equals um, x at i yeah there we go and uh, now we're going to say right here uh, let average equal total divided by the count so now we've got the average uh, of what uh, what uh, is the total amount of uh, money spent. So now we're going to do another for in statement. Excuse, yeah, just like that, we're going to say for uh, let i in x, and then we're going to say uh, what should we say here? Let's say x at i uh, equals x at i minus the average all right and now let's res return x now let's test it out and see what happens all right what's the problem here undefined what's up with that um yeah because we need to do this <laughs> let's see what happens there we go awesome attempt it up uh, yeah see we have to do this part here if you see this long uh number after the decimal place we need to round it two decimal places so if you don't know how to do this uh or if you don't know about the two fixed method basically the two fixed method formats a number using fixed point notation so it's going to send it uh it's going to make all these uh numbers but it, as you can see it's going to make them strings with but with uh two decimal places and as you see here, the return value is a string representing the given number. So to combat that, we're going to use this unary plus, op plus operator, which pr when it uh, proceeds, it's operating and evaluates. Anyway, the unary pr plus operator pr proceeds its operand and it evaluates to its operand, but attempts to convert it to a number if it is already. So it's going to attempt to convert it to a number, right? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to say... We're going to wrap this up in parentheses. And we're going to say dot two fixed, whoops, fixed two. And then in front of this, we're going to say plus. Now let's test it out. All right, that works. Attempt it. All right, it's good. Submit it. All right, very much like this one. And it's pretty much just like this one right here. Uh, we do the unary plus with the two fix two instead of the math dot round uh, times 100 divided by 100. 
Uh, this one does some stuff, and you know, you can check out the rest if you feel like it. Uh, let's go to mine. Uh, just me on this one, best practice in my opinion. Uh, we already very much liked it, and we'll see you next time.